Greetings. I want to look into roofs a little deeper. We talked about the main roof and getting that started, so I want to add the add the porch roof, and I want to show another detail or two that some other houses that other students are working on um, have. So just to review, this porch roof is pretty straightforward. It's going to sit right on top of this porch, so we know where to put it. Um, so we could draw here, roof, roof by footprint, and I will, let's see, maybe I'll do something a little, a little thinner. Maybe I'll duplicate this one. So I'll edit, edit, duplicate, and maybe we'll make it a six inch roof. Doesn't need to be, porch roofs don't need to be as deep. They're not insulated. They don't span as far. So let's make this just a simple six inch and then we could get into the structure and change this to six we'll say okay okay and we will do the boundary line so i will um okay so we don't want to define the slope so again the defining the slope is where the gutter is and let's just take one more look at this so i believe this just comes straight down i don't think that this would be you know I, I'm not sure. Um, the question I'm, I'm, what I'm pondering is, does does this gutter actually turn and go back? Meaning, does this side? I think it does. It probably does actually, based on where this where this point is. Um, I would I would guess that there's another um, slope out of sight there. So I think the only roofs that don't the only li lines that don't slope would be one, two and three all right this one i know that i'm following a slope when i when i make this motion here but this roof does not slope towards this wall okay so it's one two and three that do not slope so i'm going to do those three first i'm going to turn off defining the slope and i'm going to i'm just going to snap right to the walls below um at this point i'm going to go back and one more look so this window here is centered and this roof terminates right right at that window so um yeah it makes about sense it makes sense to be about here so i will um i think i'm gonna start it i'm gonna start at mid door and again we don't have cad drawings that we're basing this on so um it's a little trial and error. It's going to be a little trial and error, basically. And we could come back. We could offset these. So now I'm going to get into defining the slope. So I'm going to escape from that. Now I'm going to define the slope. And and I could I'm going to try an offset, maybe of six inches. And when I do that, and I and I could change the slope later. So when I do that now, I could see, I could see the line appearing there. For some reason, it doesn't want to jump to my other, to my right side where I want it. So that's a little confusing. It's only jumping to one side. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll skip the offset part. That doesn't seem to cooperate now. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to drop this line. That didn't go where I wanted it to, but let's, and then this is going to come, this is going to come to here, I think. So again, a little trial and error. Let's attach these and see how this goes. And let's attach these as well. So a 912 slope, I think that's going to be too steep. Yes, that is not. The 912, I think I'm going to change these to sixes. And let's just take a look. And are we in the right place? It's not telling me where we, here we are. Base level, top of the first floor. So that is not where we want to be. Let's go to the, that's, that's referring to where we stand actually. So that's not, um, 
so the top of the second floor so that's really that should really say top of finished floor to be more more accurate but let's give it the green light and see what we've created here and that's that's the gist of it that is the gist This looks a little peculiar to me. Um, let's just jump back and see. So this stretch here is going all the way to the other side of that window. Um, okay, so let's let's place another window. That window right there, and we could do this by by eye or um, let's see what our options are so this is a bedroom and we said those are typically pretty short windows um we're just taking a look up here they don't show them too short especially the the front gable the, the most prominent facade you wouldn't want it to be too short i'm gonna put a tall one in and this is going to take us to the um this is going to take us to the first floor. We don't have an option here, so maybe I will jump to the second floor because I know I want this thing centered. So it's kind of a no-brainer where it's going to fall. And we got our same window, good. And there it is. So let us find the center. These dimension lines are just showing up for me, but now they there we go. Seven two and seven two. That looks centered. 7-2 and 7-2. Good. Okay, let's see what we did. And so this window is going to have to get sheeted up because it is, um, it's going to conflict with this roof when it comes over, and that's a problem. So let us, we got the window selected, the sill height. We're just going to have to move that up. Let's just move it up six inches to start. Okay, now this this line needs to come far over. So this, yeah, this. I, let's take a look. So I'm looking at the height here. So they're about four pieces of clapboard, and that's about the height of that window there. The same. Um, so I think. I think my pitch is too great. That would be my one one thing that's going on. So having such a great pitch means that the roof is climbing too high and it has this point getting pushed back too far. So I think reducing the slope will help and then extending this line. And I think um, the pitch is probably also creating this goofy little um, jog in the line right there. So we could probably do this right here. Let's edit the footprint. Select the line. Let's let's cut these right in half. Let's make these three and see see how that looks to us. Okay. Let's just see what that does. Well, it improved the uh it improved the distance definitely might be even a little too shallow let's take a look at an elevation to see how that looks it is quite shallow i probably i probably bring that back up before actually so let's quickly do that let's resolve what we know we, we could what we know we want All right, better. I like that. And now let's take a look back at the first floor plan. So we can't see our roof here. So let's select, edit, jump back to the first now. Now we could see it. And I'm going to move these out to get a little bit of an overhang. Um, let's try the offset command for that. So here we are, offset, not a full foot, that's too much for a porch. We could do six inches. And offset, offset, offset. Delete, delete. 
and delete. Okay, let's see how that looks. So it looks okay, except for the length of this line. And, and it is this slope that is pushing that back on me, and I'm not exactly sure what to do about that. I think I might just eliminate that. Um, I think that's going to be my, my, my choice. So one more time. It might not be keeping, might not be true. Um, so we select him. And we undefine the slope. And, and yeah, this, this just looks better. It looks more in keeping. Um, Yeah, I think I was wrong. I was. I, th I think I was wrong. I had a hunch that this was coming down on the other side. It kind of. It kind of still appears like that to me, but I. I don't think it's the case. I don't see how that's possible. If this line is going to extend all the way to nearly the far side of this window, um, I don't under. I don't understand. I don't think that you could have that that third pitch there. I think it's as simple as I just drew it. So I think that is the porch roof. I think that looks decent. Okay, um, one more thing I want to run through, and this doesn't pertain to my my chosen house, but I know a few students have a detail. Um, let me bring that up here. This house. Um, let's just zoom in a little bit. So this detail. So we're coming down the gable roof here, and then it turns back here. This little. Uh, this little. Um, kind of piece that juts out there. So I want to I want to try to tackle that piece for you. So let's close that. I'm going to add that little detail right in here. Let me close a couple of my plans. So I'd like to see this in 3D. And I'd like to look at, um, maybe I'll do it on the front gable. So I'll, it will open the south elevation. So I just have these two open. And if I go to view and tile, I could tile these two. If I had six things open, it would tile them all and that'd be kind of useless. And actually, I think, um, let's see if I go back to tile views. Um, actually, I should open, uh, maybe, I, maybe, yeah, I'll open the plan. I'll open a plan as well. Let's see, the first floor tells me it doesn't tell me much. Okay, I'll look at the second floor as well. Let's see if we hit tile view. Now I can see all three. Yes, all right. So it's coming in right here. Um, I'm not sure why it's not showing me that line. That's probably a uh, the view range issue. And I want to just see this everywhere I'm looking. Okay, so let's let's just tackle that. And we are going to put it here on the roof bearing. And I will bring it. I'm kind of going to take some guesses at first. So the roof bearing. Um, so we're looking at seven inches seven inches below the roof bearing i'm going to kind of take some guesses as i said but let's just give it a try so architecture roof roof we will put this on the um go to view let's see if i could just cancel that i don't i want to draw it right here now it wants me to draw it somewhere so let's say top, top of second floor i like where i am Okay, we got a boundary line in. We do not want an offset, and we will define the slope for this first one. And um, so I want to draw this, so it's going to be tucked right in here. And I think we're going to come right there, and this will be my slope. 
and let's draw it let's draw it at three feet and see how that looks and now we could now we do not want a slope the slope came back so let's turn off that slope This is, I'm pretty sure, going to take a couple, couple of, and I don't think we want something as, let's make it a 412. I think that's what my porch was. And we are drawing on the top of the second floor. I do not want that. I want to get up to the top of the bearing, and I said I wanted to reduce it, bring it down by about seven inches. Let's apply and give that the green light. All right, I found the right place. My roof is way too thick, way too thick. So let's um, edit the type. Let's duplicate that. And let's just make it a three inch roof. Edit. Three, okay and okay so now we have something a little thinner that looks good it looks like it's coming in at roughly the right place I'm just going to bring up that image one more time so we don't get a good view of it here it has a lot of trim um, and it appears to be very shallow but there, there's got to be a pitch up there so that looks pretty good, pretty good as it is. Um, this line, this line we're going to have to get all the way into there though. So let's select, let's edit. In order to edit, we want, we're sticking with our top of second floor plan. I can see what I want right there. Let's pull that all the way in. I, I think that's going to cause a conflict between the two roofs, but let's just say, no, that looks pretty good actually. Um, maybe cheat it back a little bit so that it's not showing. Let's see if that does. No, it needs to get in a little deeper though. Just, I'm using the uh, the arrows now. Sometimes our arrows help if we just want to move a little bit. So that's that's on its way. We'd have to see how it renders. Um, there's still a little bit of a conflict there. I wish you could stop asking me this. I, I'm all set up the way I like it. Let's just cheat that in one more notch. And I think that looks pretty good, actually. Um, Let's get back to view. I don't want to close this tab view. There we go. So that looks decent, actually. Probably for my roof, it looks a little long, I would say. So I might just cheat this. Cheat this in a little bit. It's not the way to do it. Not the best way to do it. So let's just close that down. Let's open up that view one more time. There we are. Edit. It's it's, it's not it's not good to. Uh, I guess I have to add that at three and a half. That's more than I wanted. Um, not preferred to uh, move things in three dimensions like that. So that's that looks pretty good. Yeah, maybe still a little bit on the long side, but. It's decent, decent. So we do turn from this big fascia here, that's the fascia, into this shorter fascia. Um, and let's just take one more look at that image. Yeah, they, they do come in, they do come in quite far typically, so I think that looks decent. Okay, um, while I'm discussing fascias actually, let's uh, let's talk about fascias. So architecture, roof and fascia so here we have a 
the fascia is the board that covers right here and we could apply a material to it so if we apply a material a roofing material to here we don't want that roofing material to turn down so roof shingles here and then roof shingles here do not make sense so all we want to do is apply fascias um, and i just clicked on it and you could see it just installed that board right there this um this roof is nine inches thick and this fascia is 12 inches but when you take a when you take a, a roof that is nine inches in this direction and then you cut it on an angle let's see if i can get to my my tape measure when we cut when we cut a nine inch roof on this particular angle we're coming up at nearly 14 inches so the angle cut the plum cut you call that the plum cut because it's plum it's straight up and down um, so my 12 inch fascia is not is not doing it so one option is to open the fascia families and um and you don't have to recreate a fascia I just paused and took a minute to look into that. So when we get into here, into this um, family type, we do not have options. We do not have options to easily edit edit these things. I don't know why that is. Um, something as simple as a fascia, we could edit all sorts of components, but the fascia is just not allowing me to do that. So that's kind of annoying. So the path of least resistance would be to cheat and to drop this roof. Um, and a nine inch roof is, if anything, it's probably a little on the thick side, perhaps. So, um, I'm just going to, like I said, cheat, we could duplicate it, uh, um, but I'm not even actually going to do that. I'm just going to edit right here, jump into the structure and I'm just going to reduce this by, um, let's bring it down to maybe seven and a half inches. Okay. Okay. And that covered it up nicely there. So just a little bit of cheating sometimes there required. Um, and yeah, I was doing a few other things while I was away briefly. Um, one other thing I just want to bring up quickly here. So I think that's good for the roofs now. Um, one other thing just to, just to bring up super quickly is when I inserted these doors, you need a wall to insert the door into. So if we jump into um, the plan here. Um, yeah, where are we? Let's bring up our first floor plan here we are so and it's misleading the way these things are drawn in particular um, people are starting and stopping their walls don't do that just run continuous walls so we want to um, for instance let's go to architecture wall wall and maybe drop this down if i had a four inch i would do a four inch but i'll just do a five for now um, so this wall wants to run right through that door, just like so. Um, and then we come and we place the door in it. Then we come back architecture door and we don't want, um, now we want interior doors. So I will quickly load family and jump back to my doors. So imperial doors, residential and interior doors. So I didn't talk about those yet. So um panel doors so we could see there the traditional four um six panel door let's do a six panel that looks nice and we say okay and here comes the door then okay so you need a wall to drop a door into so do not leave um spaces do not leave any spaces for that and then we could just uh, get out of this and drop this back a little bit and just take a look at that door in section and there it is okay so i have a continuous wall running above the door all right very good and good luck with the roofs okay